Hey out there YouTube, how we doing today? Well, we have a fourth for the channel. Today we're going to take a look at Everyman Jags Sandalwood Beard and Face Wash. So stay tuned after we roll that intro, I'm going to tell you what I think of this one. YouTube, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, for you first time viewers of the channel and you long time viewers who have yet to do it, take a look down below. All right, little channel watermark's gonna pop up. Click on that thing, sure, pull up, subscribe, knock it out the way early, and you go feel better about yourself for the rest of today. I can almost guarantee that. Alrighty, guys, those of you familiar with my channel know that we have brought three Everyman Jack products to the channel so far. We've got two wins, one loss. Will this tie it up? Or will this push it over the edge? Let's find out today. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with Everyman Jack, you can find them at www.everymanjack.com. I ran into them in my local Walmart, and they seem to be a very budget-friendly body care company. You know, they like to say they pride themselves on striving to bring a naturally derived formula and recyclable packaging, which I think is kind of cool, at an accessible and affordable price. What, cuteness factor? Great, give me. Thank you. All right, go play. Those of you familiar with my channel know the cuteness factor likes to interrupt videos every so often, so thank you for putting up with that. Now, I love the fact on every single thing they do, and you can see it right down there on the bottom. But here's an important lesson that I've learned. For basically these little things right down here, they're paying the U.S. government 70 grand per product per year just to have those on there. I learned that from Johnny Slicks, who is a 100% organic company, and he outed the fact why they don't have those on the back. Now, if you're curious about the every damn the Everman Jack products that we brought to the channel before, or even Johnny Slicks, or any other beard, hair care, skin care, whatever. Look up top. You're going to see a card for all of that. Okay? Now, what I love is they say it's cruelty-free, 50% post-recyclable plastic inside this bottle, which I think is pretty awesome, considering most recyclable stuff, they're going to jack the price just to say, hey, look, we use recycled paper. So you're going to pay us another 50% more. They are gluten-free, vegan-friendly, pithylate, I think it is free, and honestly, I think that's just a salt that's added to the mix to add strength to the packaging. They're dye-free, paraben-free. I think it's cool. They are made in the U.S. of A. with four distribution centers, one in Minnesota, one in Cali, one in Vermont, and one in Texas. All right. Also, on their website, as they love to say now, they are the official Sorry, grooming partner of Tough Mudder. God, I drew a blank there. Sorry, guys. All right. Now, this one was manufactured in Minnesota with components from Virginia, and it was designed in California. All right, all that fun stuff out of the way. Now, for all you guys who want to see, like, the ingredients and whatnot, look, honestly, I don't know a lot about soaps and shampoos yet to say what's healthy, what's good, what's not. I'm learning. I know on beard oil, and I know a lot more on beard balm, but beard washes, I'm learning. So I can't really criticize the ingredients too much on this one. This is a 6.7 ounce bottle, or 200 milliliters for, you know, my English cousins. Now, I know you're going, why are you bringing beard wash to the channel? Well, you got to wash the manly mane, all right? Seriously, I wash mine every Monday and every Friday with a beard wash. But I do a co-wash, which means a beard conditioner, seven days a week. It's kind of important because you want to protect those oils that are naturally derived out of your skin that help make your beard grow healthy, makes it grow beautiful. Hopefully you don't get any stress patches like I am. But it is filling in a little bit better. <laughs> okay. I'll give you the pricing, and then I'm going to give you something that's been bugging the crap out of me since I had it. All right. Now, I found it at my local Walmart for 10 bucks. Not bad. For 6.7 ounces, not bad, 10 bucks. So I walk in the store and grab it. On Everyman Jack, it's 10 bucks. And on Amazon.com, it's $8.54. It's got 30 reviews and a 3.7 out of 5 star rating. 
The one thing I'll admit before I get to that review stuff, which really triggered something in me, because using this bothered the crap out of me, because I'm like, I know I've smelled this. This feels the same as something else. I'll get there in a sec. I love the pump top. I, I really, truly do. It's so easy in the shower. Just bam, there you go. Keep going. My problem with it is, I've said this before, um, I believe it was a Live Bearded product, where it was face, beard, excuse me, shampoo, beard, and body wash. We're growing ass men. Are we really at the point where, you know, you need one product that you can wash your dishes with, you know, wash your car with, wash your laundry with, you know, strip paint off the walls, make dinner, you know. I get it. The man means right here. You guys go, hey, why not in here? Well, your facial hair is different than like shampoo and your facial hair is different than the stuff that goes on your skin for your body. So I don't know if you're damaging it or not. But I will tell you this, with using this, it leaves a very heavy scent. And it was bothering me because it doesn't smell like sandalwood. It really doesn't. The scent it leaves and the way it makes me feel after um, a shower, because most beard washes that I use, that scent's usually gone within five minutes. You know, you have a wonderfully fresh, clean beard that you can apply your oil, balm, or butter to, whatever you choose. Or even go au natural, which every so often I like to do. I do a no product day. But the Everyman Jack smelt exactly like and felt exactly like that. Now, I haven't reviewed this one yet for, you know, the channel, but I've been using it as hopefully you can kind of see in there. All right. This, which is supposed to be sandalwood, smells a hell of a lot like the wooded scent for this company's lumber yard it leaves the exact same feeling and it's heavy it's a heavy feeling in your beard it doesn't really lather up huge it's got a very light lather and I've tried every way under the Sun with throwing more water in there a little bit more beard you know wash than I'm used to you know a combination of both and it just it's a heavy heavy feeling you know um it's great for the price, seriously. If you're just getting into stuff and you're looking to go affordable, okay, cool. You know, I get it. Local Walmart, ease of access, you walk in, grab it. Because honestly, I think Everyman Jack has replaced the Mountaineer brand in Walmarts, at least in my local Walmart it has. Because ever since I started seeing Everyman Jack, Mountaineer is gone. And I really like the Mountaineer beard wash because it's just one of my favorites and it's one of the first I started to use so before any of you start going okay you're biased on that now I get it. Walmart cycles products through cycles products out you know I get it and especially after rebooting my beard speaking of that look up top you're gonna see a card why I took the man main down I'm starting to notice scents a lot more from beard washes and oils and bombs Probably because there's not that much of a hiding spot for it in here. I can't sit and go, well, I applied too heavy over here, or yeah, well, that one's a eh. no. It's it's right there. <laughs> I'm trying not to bash it, but I'm trying to give you a real honest review. So I'm gonna call this one a tie. All right. I like it because it gets you clean. I don't like it because of the after effects if that makes sense. So with Everman Jack, two wins, one loss, one tie. Out of four products, that's not that bad. I'm already beating, you know, Law of Averages, which should be 50-50, right? Sorry about that, guys. The cuteness factor was pulling something and I had to go be a parent. But with all that fun stuff being said, I want to know what you guys think. Questions, comments, love, anger, hatred, whatever, down below in the comment section, all right? Let's get a good discussion going because I do know that Everyman Jack is making a huge splash into certain areas, and I want to know what you guys think. I mean, I, I get, for me, this is what it affects me, but I want to know your feelings and your thoughts and how your experiences went because that's part of the important part of sometimes being a YouTuber is let's talk, let's 
compare notes. Let's just do things, not, I like this product, and if you don't buy this product. You know? But, let's go to the wrap-up. Alright, if you're a first-time viewer of the channel, I know it's a weird one, watching, you know, beard and face wash. You're watching some fat boy out there on the internet and go, hey, this is how I feel, this is how it's going, this is what I think is where. But I want to thank you so much for giving me some of your time. Seriously, I do. Your time is your most precious commodity, and I'm very, very thankful you gave me some of it. Hope I've earned more, and we'll see, you know, if you keep coming back to the channel. Now, for you first-timers of the channel who didn't do it at the beginning of the video, and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, look down below. I think it's going to be right down there. All right? I, I just do. I think it's going to be in that corner. Or, no, that corner. What? Whatever. It's going to be in one of the two corners. All right? going to see a big channel logo popping up. Man, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you subscribe, go ahead and destroy the bell icon. Why? Well, it's real simple. It's going to notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time that this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of videos, two are going to be popping up, I believe, on that side of the screen. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. There we go, guys. My really quick look at the Everyman Jack Sandalwood Beard and Face Wash. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day today.